Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Writing with Miss Maxi. Um, let's look at our I can statements and our materials to get us started. Share my screen. So it is day 12 um, out of 15 days about this one lesson, our informational writing. We are almost at the end. Um, I can analyze a mentor text to locate facts. I can distinguish facts and opinions, and I can revise a paragraph to include facts. So today you're, you're just going to need your iReady books and a pencil. So take a minute, gather your materials, and when you're ready, we'll dive in. So as always, we want to open up our books to page eight and nine and check out where we are in our writing process. I'll use my document camera so you can see. All right, here's our friend Herschel, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. Yesterday we finished up step six and we revised our own paragraphs and we made it the best that we could by using that checklist to make sure we included everything we needed to. So today we can go down Oh wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> we are still revising. We used our checklist, but today we're going to continue to revise and keep making our papers the best they can be. And that was just that was just a little preview about what's to come in step 7 when we edit. But today we're still we're still revising. All right? So let's flip in our books to page 28. And I'll share my screen so you can see what it will look like. So when we write an informational paragraph, we need to make sure that everything we write is true. It's important to use facts from sources instead of our own thoughts or opinions. So today we're going to continue to revise our papers to make sure that everything we wrote was true. So like I said, we should be on page 28. And it will look like this. It will say lesson one, step six, revise, continued, modeled instruction. A fact is information that is true. An opinion is the way a person thinks or feels about something. You might remember this from um, when we talked about it in our close read. So if you need to pull out your anchor charts you made in close read about fact and opinion to review them, you can do that. Okay, so let's keep reading in our books. When you write an informational paragraph, check your facts in a trusted source to make sure they are true. Do not include sentences that show your opinion. So let's see how Jaden revised his paragraph for facts and opinion. First, we'll just read it all the way through and then we'll go back and read the think alouds. So let's take our tracking fingers, place it on the word mentor and get started. Mentor text draft. In the spring, the Oglala Lakota people in South Dakota dress as their ancestors did for a special celebration. <clears throat> I think it would be a lot of fun to go. Their ancestors wore dresses, pants, and moccasins made from animal skins. Okay, let's read this think aloud part where he circled in the spring. He said, I'll check my source to make sure the celebration happens in the spring. Oh, it happens in August. I will revise this sentence. Okay, so Jaden checked his text and he wanted to make sure what he wrote was true because we're writing informational paragraphs and we want the information that we share to be true. We want people to be able to trust us and believe us. 
So he's going to change spring, the word spring, because he found out it happens in August, and August is not the spring. August is the, August is the what? Yeah, August is in the summer, so he, he'll have to change that. All right, the next one he underlined was, <clears throat> I think it would be a lot of fun to go. And here he wrote, this sentence is not a fact. The words I think mean that it is my opinion. I'll take it out. It's an opinion because it's how he thinks or feels about it, right? So he needs to go ahead and take it out. Um. How could Jaden change this sentence to make it a fact instead of an opinion? How could Jaden change this sentence to make it a fact instead of an opinion? So I have uploaded that question to Schoology and that is all we have for writing today, I just wanted you to know that we need to um, make sure in our informational paragraphs, we are writing facts, not opinions, and we are writing true facts, things we know are true so our text can be believable and trustworthy. So don't worry about looking at your paper right now. We're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to check our own papers for fact versus opinion and truthfulness tomorrow. So for right now, all you have left to do is get on Schoology and answer this question for your assignment. Upload your answer because it will be a grade. How could Jaden change the sentence? I think it would be a lot of fun to go to make it a fact instead of an opinion. All right, guys, so remember to pause your video, um, upload your answers on Schoology, and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow to look at our own papers. Bye, everybody.